Hello beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anik and I am a lover of fashion. Fashion is such an expressive art to me um, and I hope that you like it too. This is where we discuss the beautiful things, we discuss the beautiful maison uh, that bring me joy and I hope they bring you joy too. Before we get started, I'm gonna ask that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, you subscribe, um, you ask questions, thing I'm learning and if we can learn from each other, I very much appreciate that. So today I wanted to talk about one of, I would say, a brand that's becoming one of my favorite, actually. Um, it's none other than Bottega Veneta. I know that when Daniel Lee took over the brand in 2018, uh, he brought a lot of juice to it, the Bottega Green. We all know about the Bottega Green, right? It's, it's so familiar and it's become like an adage where you see it, you recognize it. I didn't warm up to the brand right away. It took me quite a while. I, I saw the push. I was like, oh, that's an interesting concept. It was beautiful. But my personality is that I'm never one that of those people that jump into things right away like I tend to warm up to things now I would describe myself as a Bottega mommy I enjoy it I am becoming a Bottega mommy slowly um, I, I love the, the design I think they are very simple they are not really out there but they bring a simplicity and elegance that I really really enjoy right today we're just gonna discuss about one of my favorite Bottega design let's talk about the mini Jody have you seen it what are your thought about it you know I'll share mine today and um, again I'm gonna ask that you give me a thumbs up, you subscribe, and we're on this journey together. So let's do it. Like many of you, I was very surprised to hear that Daniel Lee, the creative designer of Bottega, was leaving the house um, within less than five years. You know, he started in 2018 and we're in 2021. He's announcing that he's leaving the brand already. And you know, um, fashion is a very, very hard business for creative. Um, so for those who do not know, Bottega Veneta is owned by Caring. And Caring is um, a conglomerate that owns Gucci. Um, I believe they also own so many other things. So many other things. And Bottega is just one of those brands that was on a mission to get back out there and take back the control, right? So I wouldn't be surprised that Daniel Lee is leaving because of the pressure of performing. Um, I know for a lot of creatives, it can be very hard to perform when you're under very strict guidelines. And from a conglomerate, I'm, I'm assuming right now, but it would be very much about the bottom line, right? So how much profit are you bringing to the house? Are you regaining market share? All those different things when you're on the huge conglomerates, they do matter. You have to be able to perform, right? So that's on the business side. Um, I know Danielle hasn't said why he's leaving the house. It just said that it's, it's leaving, you know, and Bottega has announced a different creative designer. But again, making my assumptions from me sitting on the other side of the world, I would assume that it's very much about how the brand is performing, right? Um, so nevertheless, I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy Danielle and his touch to the house. I thought I'll review another of my favorite Bottega and that's the mini Jody. The mini Jody. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, Ta-da! It came in this bag. It came in this bag. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, and this beautiful. Look at the color. Look at the color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is the mini Jody. Um, it came out in 2020. Of course, it was very popular and it still is in the Bottega Green, but they added so many different colors. You have the cream, you have the coral, you have the white, you have the black. And when I saw this color, uh, I thought it was time. It was time to get it. It was time to get it. So the Jody got his name from the actress Jodie Foster. Um, there was a photo of her where she was trying to hide from the paparazzi and she was carrying a big purse just to hide her face. 
And Daniele was able to capture that moment and completely transform it. Uh, use a creative a genius to create this and as the name Jody. So this purse is incredibly stylish. It's small. It fits a lot of my needs. I'm not one to carry big purses. I actually don't enjoy it unless I'm going to work. It is made of lambskin and scalpskin. It comes with the beautiful zipper right there, a goldish zipper, as you can see. And you know that it's uh, the latest uh, edition because you have the triangle here. Um, they changed that before, I believe it was uh, around, uh, but now it's triangle right there. And of course, we have to talk about the woven detail. Look at the woven detail. Beautiful, beautifully made. Can you look at that? This is why I love beautiful design like this. When I purchase something, I look at all the detailing, how it's been done, right? Because um, to me, because fashion is such an expression of art, um, I lack that heart to be well made. And maybe it comes from my perfectionist background, but still, you know, I like beautiful things. So that's about it right there. Let's talk about what do I have in my purse. I think I should do that at the end of every vid video. What do I have in my purse? I'll show you. I have my sunglasses. I carry the case with me. These are the Dior sunglasses. I wear them on a regular basis. Um, there you go. Maybe I should show you how they fit. There you go. So that's one thing I have in this purse. The second thing are my headphones. Um, I always listen to music when I work. Uh, I like to, these are noise cancelling headphones. So I like to be super quiet or I just put it on and focus. They fit perfectly in this purse. The third thing I have are feminine wipes. Um, you gotta keep it clean down there always, all the time. And the last two things, are my lip gloss and sunscreen. You have to reapply sunscreen every two hours. So I like to carry this powder sunscreen from Color Science. And that's it, that's all I can carry in this purse. Uh, of course, I have my cell phone and my little bank cards. And um, it's easy, it's easy for me just to, to take it on the go basis and you still makes a statement because of the beautiful color it's a it's an eye popping color so people will look at it and at the same time it's very very light and a lot of things that are super light and easy to carry so that's about it i'm very excited to see what daniele is going to create on this next endeavor but i'm going to continue this series and review a couple of other bottega um iconic purses um I should say. I, I, I don't know if I would call it iconic. Maybe it's a little bit too soon. I've used this word about four times or five times in this video. But to me, I, I think that Daniel has definitely left the market Bottega. And it's such a shame to see him go. Um, what I would recommend is that if you enjoy this purse, that you get it now. Uh, simply because with the new designer coming in, they announced him and I completely forgot his name, but he may not keep the same design. He may want to do his own thing as well. So if this is something that you enjoy, I'll recommend that you get it right now. Thank you for being with me today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment and share, follow on my Instagram, ask questions. Um, let's build this community and take care. Bisous.